In this video, we will be discussing the Gantt charts, which are part of the Project Manager Excel template. Gantt chart is a very commonly used visualization method in the project management space to display the project timelines. And now, before we get into the live demo of the Gantt charts in this template, let's take a quick look at the different sections in the Gantt chart sheet. These are the six different sections that we will be focusing on. The first is the control panel on the top left, which is where the user gets to control the Gantt charts that are displayed here. And then the task list is the list of task ID and task name that qualify according to the criteria that we choose in the control panel. This area works like a scroll bar where we can type in a number and then the template will pull the following 30 tasks at a time. This is where the dates that are used to plot the Gantt bars are shown for each task. And then depending on what option we choose here in the control panel, these dates may change. And then the legend here indicates the color and this comes in handy, especially for a couple of the views, we will have multiple colors and the legend will help us interpret what these colors represent. The date header is the date axis, and then it also will highlight specific dates of interest, and it will also update according to the options we choose in the control panel. The Gantt bars themselves represent the duration of each task listed. So now we can go and take a look at the live demo to see how this all makes sense. So now I have the template open and I have already filled in some sample data so that it will be easier for us to understand how the Gantt chart works. So in the setting sheet, I have entered some resources and their availability, and then I have entered some sample tasks. I, all, I have also entered some actual work performed data. So all of these have been done uh, prior to this demo. And now there are a lot of sheets that are automatically calculated. And for this video, we are going to be focusing on the Gantt sheet. Okay, so as we saw, the control panel is on the top left, and then here are the different options. So let's go through one at a time. The period, there are three options available where we can choose to see the Gantt charts in a daily, weekly, or a monthly view. So the default is the daily, where we see the individual dates on this date axis. And then if we change it to weekly, then you will see that the dates change to the week end date. And then if we change it to monthly, it'll change to the month end date. Accordingly, the Gantt bars will also change reflecting the duration of the project. Okay, so now let me put it back to the daily. And then the view, I, there are four options available. The baseline plan will represent the each task baseline plan start and finish dates. And these dates will be used to plot the Gantt bars. And then the next view we have is the current plan. And then the color changes, the dates will change. And then also the Gantt bars will reflect the current plan start and finish date for each task. We also have actual. So this is the actual work performed and that is shown in light green. And then the current plan, entire current plan is shown in white. And so this kind of shows you the actual completed work with respect to the overall current plan. And then the last view is the current plan versus baseline. And here we will see both the current plan start and finish and the baseline plan and we can see the baseline plan is in white and then the current plan is in the yellow pattern. And so basically we will see if, for example, this task is uh, starting later than the baseline plan versus these tasks are starting ahead of the baseline plan. So you can see the comparison easily in this view. Let me put it back to baseline plan and the filter allows us to limit which tasks are being shown on the Gantt chart. So for example, the default is all tasks where there is no filter. All the tasks that you have, the first 30 will be listed. If I want to only show the tasks for one resource at a time, I do select resource and I can choose one of the resources in our sheet and then the Gantt charts will update to reflect that specific resources tasks. And if I don't want to look at one resource at a time, I can go back to the other option, which is milestones. 
milestones or tasks which are which have been flagged as milestones in the tasks sheet and let me put it back to all tasks and the last option we have in the control panel is the start date you can see that the gantt chart is beginning from march 1st and it goes all the way to 52 days all the way here through April 21st. So there are 52 dates or periods that are displayed on the Gantt chart, but you can control where you are beginning. So for example, if I change this to March 2nd, then you will see that the dates update and the Gantt bars update. So that is how you can easily customize the Gantt chart according to your needs. Now, the scroll option here, as I said, it only lists 30 tasks at a time. So it is showing tasks from one to 30, but we have totally 50 tasks. And so if I want to see the last 30 tasks, I can, or if I want to see the last 20 tasks, I type in 31. And now what happens is it'll show 31 to 50. So 31 to 50. There are totally 30 possible tasks. And right now it is showing 31 to 50, which is 20 in number. Okay, so that is the similar to a scroll bar where I can just type in a number and I will see the task, the next set of tasks to view. We have already seen the legend and the dates, they update according to the options here. The date header here, this shows the holiday. For example, March 3rd is a holiday and uh, March 5th is the status date according to what we entered in the project report. And then the weekends are shown in gray and which is basically Saturdays and Sundays, but you can customize the weekends too. So this is the date header section. The Gantt bars themselves are interesting. So let me put it back to the first set of tasks and let's take this example, task two. These are, this is the Gantt bar for task two and it starts from the March 2nd and go, goes all the way to March 17th. And those are the two start and finish dates. But keep in mind that it doesn't mean that the task is scheduled for every day in between. For example, 3rd March is a holiday, so no work may be scheduled on that day, but still it is shown in the pink color. And that is because the purpose of the Gantt bar is to represent the entire duration of the task from the start to the finish, all the dates will be colored. So that is how we should interpret the Gantt bars in this Gantt sheet. Now, these are the different options of customizing and you know limiting the tasks and all these options that you have to customize the Gantt chart. Now let's see how you can print it. So you can do a file print and then you can print the entire Gantt chart along with the data. But if you want to, you know, print a short, smaller portion of the sheet, you can definitely select which cells you want to, or you may only want to choose, for example, the smaller window, and then you go to the page layout, print area, set print area, that will send the set this as a print area, and then you can print and choose the page type and all this as usual. You can also export it as PDF, you go to export and hit export PDF, and then choose a name for your PDF file and save it wherever you want in your computer. So you can export it as a PDF. If there are any questions about this Gantt chart or this template, please leave them in the comments and I'll be very happy to respond. Thank you very much for watching this video.